our uh, pioneer preacher to come to give, bring the word. Um, I want us to clap to the, to the prophets. First of all, I want to thank the pastors in the house of this church for giving me this opportunity to share the word. <clears throat> and I want to thank the Lord for the spirit of obedience, for accepting this opportunity. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, Lord, I thank you, Father, for this moment. Lord, I'm relying on you, Holy Spirit, and I pray to your glory that as you share your word, Father, let it be a blessing to all of us. Father, let it be a blessing for me as well, Father. Speak to me, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Hallelujah! Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I just have to, I want us to read from uh, Matthew chapter 13, from verse 24 to 28, please. Want us to read it out? Yes, please. Okay. 24 to 28. Another parable put he forth unto them, saying, The kingdom of heaven is likened unto a man which sowed good seed in his field. But while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat and went his way. But when the blade was sprung up and brought forth fruit, then appeared the tares also. So the servants of the householder came and said unto him, Sir, didst not thou sow good seed in thy field? From whence then had it, had it tares? Verse 28, he said unto them, An enemy had done this. The servant said unto him, Will thou then that we go and gather the tares? Amen. Thank you. I've tied to this message, Watch and Pray. Amen. While they were asleep, the enemy came and planted wheat. Mm -hmm. We can be physically asleep mm -hmm. and we can be spiritually asleep. Amen. When we are spiritually asleep, it means that we are not watchful, we are not alert, and we are not prayerful. Mm -hmm. The day we gave our life to Christ, we automatically became an enemy to Satan. Mm -hmm. And that's why he tries to bring things to distract us mm -hmm. from being alert and from being prayerful. Mm -hmm. Because he knows that when we are prayerful, he has no chance to come in and sow any seed in our life mm -hmm. or any weed. The enemy comes in with things like, for example, our jobs. We can be so distracted, carried, carried out with our jobs, we go to work. From morning to night, by the time we come back, we are so tired that we don't even have the time to pray. Prayer is a powerful weapon, but he can he brings our job. And you, you, here in England, you have long days where you can work all through. And by the time you come back, you're tired. He can come in like with our careers. We can be so busy with our careers, not even concentrating on the things of God, which which will benefit us more. Another thing is the social media. We can be busy with a lot of interesting television programs. We can be busy on the internet. Things like this can make us not to be spiritually alert. It Amen. can cause us to be spiritually asleep. Mm. Also, our family, our children, they can be a distraction. They are a blessing, but at times they can be a distraction to us. At times, we should be very, very vigilant. We should be watchful. Mm. For example, on Saturday, while I was trying to 
put down this message. I was writing it down. And all Malika, Mark, and Brian they came in my room. And we were talking and playing. They were there. And in my mind, I was like, I've just started. I've written the title and I was trying to write. We were there and they were like, oh, Brian was like, oh, mommy, ah, we are really having a quality time. In my head, I was like, oh, my God, am I going to tell them to go? <laughs> <laughs> so they were there. We played and we really had time. And towards about two hours later, and the Holy Spirit reminded me, it's like, what you are, what you are writing, especially about this message, this is what is going on. Can't you see? Then I'm like, you know what, boys? Mommy needs to do something. I need to prepare my word. Can you guys go for now? So the enemy brings things that we cannot see. It's something that is nice. It's nice to spend time with our family. It's not, but it depends the time, the timing. If the Holy Spirit has reminded us to pray, at times that's just a time where you have a call. A call from maybe a friend or a member from a family that it's so we are so close to. We find at times we find it hard to tell them that please can you call me later? And especially now that in England, <laughs> landline, you can talk for an hour and it's free. So at times you have to be alert. We should we should be sensitive to the voice of the Holy Spirit. We should be able, we should be disciplined, knowing that this time is the time that we can use to pray. Because when we pray, it keeps the enemy away from us. The Bible says, while they were still, while they were asleep, mm -hmm. the enemy knows that when we are asleep, when he brings this distraction, that's when he can come in. Amen? Amen. Amen. Moreover, I just want us to look at uh, Galatians 5, from verse 16 to 22. Can someone read, please? Galatians 5.16 Yes, please. And it says, This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary, the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulation, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envies, murders, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and such like. Of the which I tell you before, as I have also told you in time past, that they we do something shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Amen. 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 Yeah, where, where, where are you 21. now? 21. I, I want to read 22. That's right. Come on, Mommy. But the, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, and faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, there is no law. Amen. I, I want, uh, when Mama Felicia was leading the meeting this morning, and she said, Our iniquities can keep us away from God that we should hunger and thirst for righteousness. The enemy knows, Satan knows that when we commit sin, it can separate us from God. Yes. Things of the flesh, things that we do that are fleshy, it gratifies, it, it makes us feel good. For example, gossiping. Amen. When you're talking about someone, you, 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 if they give you time, an hour, to say good things about somebody, and an hour to say negative things, our flesh will keep on going, saying something that is negative. God does not like when we use our mouth to talk about people. The Bible says, thou shalt not murder. When we talk about people, we murder their character. Mm -hmm. So we should try and make sure we live by the Spirit. Things of the flesh, we should try and put them away. The enemy will try, even if you are not, he will try and bring, he will bring someone, a friend or a family member that will want you. Before you find yourself, you find yourself talking about someone else. It wasn't your intention, but before you know it, the enemy will sneak in. And before you know, you've started saying the things that you are not supposed to say. So we should be vigilant the way we talk. Also, we should not be judgmental. We should not be envious for one um, um, towards one another. <coughs> we should walk in love mm -hmm. and unity. Mm -hmm. 
When we walk in love and unity, it places the Lord. The Holy Spirit lives in, the, in a peaceful environment. He wants us to walk in love. We walk in the, we do the things of the Spirit. When we do the things of the Spirit, then we are spiritually alert. Then we can hear from the Holy Spirit. Then the enemy will not have a chance to come, through, come into us. Because the Bible says, <coughs> Satan is the accuser. He wants us to do those things, then he will go back and accuse us in front of God. Amen? Amen. Amen. Also, I want us to look at, we can just quickly read Proverbs 4, verse 23, please. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Proverbs 4, verse 23. Yes, please. Above all else, guide your heart, for it is the world's spring of life. Amen. Amen. The Bible says we should guide our hearts. That's another way the enemy will try, might to want to try and come in. For example, be, for, for example, the enemy has always tried to come in my thoughts, especially with fear. He has always, I've always been nicknamed from childhood fear, fear, because I've, I've always been, I've always been, I am afraid. At times, when I just passed my driving license, driving test, I had the car, but. Before I say, I said to myself, I want to go to Manchester to visit my family. And the enemy will be like, oh, what if, what if, what if, what if, what if you are driving, what if, and I will leave my car, I will park my stuff, I will get the bus, the, the, the taxi to the train station. From the train station, I will get a train to Manchester. From Manchester, Piccadilly, I will get another bus all the way to my brother's place. A journey that would have cost me maybe 15 pound petrol. Mm. I will spend more time. Mm. Because I was listening to the voice of the enemy. Amen. So we should try and guide our hearts and understand when the enemy tries to come in. We should be alert. We should stand like we should be spiritually alert. At times, someone might say something that is not right, that we feel like it's not right. But we can easily find a way to like talk to that sister, talk to that brother. Probably the way they said it, they did not mean it that way. But if we are not careful, the enemy will come in our hearts and try to make that word, just that statement, he will magnify it, and before you know it, you will start being very angry towards that brother, towards that sister, mm -hmm. and that, and then he starts creating a, an environment that the Holy Spirit wouldn't like. Mm -hmm. So we should try and guide our hearts. And also, the Bible says in Matthew five verse eighteen, that blessed are the pure in heart, mm -hmm. for they shall see God. Mm -hmm. If we want to see the manifestation of God in our life, if we want to hear from God, we should guide our hearts. We should know that that is where the enemy can try and come in. Amen? Amen. 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 Also, I just want someone to read Job chapter 1 from verse 6 to 8, please. Job 1. Job. Job, please. Job 1. Yes, please. Verse 16. It says, Now there was a day when the sons of God came to present themselves before the Lord, and Satan came also among them. And the Lord said unto Satan, Whence comest thou? Then Satan answered the Lord and said, From going to and fro in the earth, and from walking up and down in it. And the Lord said unto Satan, As thou considered my servant Job, that there is none like him in the earth, a perfect and an upright man, one that fears God and a steward evil. Amen. Amen. The question I want to ask us is, why is Satan roaming to and fro on earth? He is not walking to and fro on earth, definitely not to bless us. Remember from the beginning we said the day we choose to give our life to Christ, we automatically became an enemy to Satan. Amen. Amen. He is walking to and fro mm -hmm. not to bless us. Mm -hmm. What does the Bible say in John 10? 10, 10? That this, the, the enemy cometh not but to do what? Mm -hmm. To steal, mm -hmm. to kill, and to destroy. Mm -hmm. Satan is not, he, he is not asleep. 
he is up and down mm -hmm. looking for whom to devour. He wants to destroy our vision. He wants to destroy the vision of the church. He wants to cause division in the church. He wants to steal our destiny. He wants to steal our health. He wants to steal the health of our children. He wants to steal our joy. He wants to steal our peace. We have to be alert and know that the enemy is around and he is trying to destroy us. The Bible says in 1 Peter 5 verse 8 that we should be self-controlled and be alert. We should be vigilant. Can we just quickly read 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8 please? First Peter 5, okay? Yeah. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about, seeking who he may devour. Amen. The Bible, Amen. That's just clear. And also, I think in the New King James Version, it says be self-controlled. Mm -hmm. We have to control our thoughts, we have to control our lips, we have to control our eyes. Because that is, the, that is the, 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 the media, that is the link that the enemy wants to use against us. So we should be self-controlled. If we are not watchful, if we are not alert, then we will be spiritually asleep. If we are not alert, or we are not being watchful, or we are not self-controlled, that is when the enemy comes in. And he will come in and try to sow wheat, like from the parable. He would come in and want to sow the weeds of depression, <coughs> weeds of anxiety, weeds of stress, weeds of problems, weeds of causing divisions in church, in, in churches. Those are the things that the enemy might try to come, come in in our life. He might even try and even come, uh, come in to cause accidents. Those things are not of God. It is not God's will. All those things that are happening are the works of the enemy. For example, I was working in, I'm in a, I was all this time on placement, I'm in the cardiology world. And I was talking to a woman that was about to go through heart surgery. And she said to me, she said, I don't know the cause of this. She said, I've been living a healthy life. I have not been smoking. I've been very active, but I don't know why I have got this. Our children as well. We look after our children. We try, we try to bring them up in a nice way. We bring them to church. We tell them about the work, the, the word of God. Mm. But what does the enemy do? How many hours do, does our children spend in school? Mm. They spend it. But by the time they come back, maybe they have about four hours they go to bed. They spend more time in school. The, the, the parents that are not bringing their children up in the nice way, they are sowing the wheat. They are sowing wheat, they could be sowing wheat upon the lives of our children. So we should be alert and be prayerful, especially our children. Mm -hmm. The other day I was speaking to Brian and Brian said, Oh mommy, I am so stressed. And I was like, what? She said, mommy, I am so stressed. I said, a nine-year-old. Mm -hmm. In Africa, when we are nine-year-old, all we know is mm -hmm. we run, we play, we eat, we sleep. Yes. We didn't even know the meaning of stress. No. How come a nine-year-old boy will tell me, Mommy, I am so stressed? Mm -hmm. what, no? I said, God, this is something that the enemy, is sorry. The enemy, the enemy has started. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. But that is it coming out. Mm -hmm. He had planted, and before I know it, now he's saying that word out. Mm -hmm. Then I can see, I'm like, where does this come from? Like the farmer was like, you planted good seed, how come? There is a, a, a weed. Mm. So I'm like, where does this come from? Brian, this is not you. Where does this come from? Mm. You know? So th those are the things that we have to be alert and be prayerful for our children. Mm. Because as much as we are doing our part, there are other parents that they are not doing that part. They are bringing the children in a negative way that our children can be so, so easily influenced. Mm. But by the grace of God, because yes. we know that we've got an all-powerful God, when we pray, Things like that will not affect them in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 And also, if we read, if we look at First Thessalonians five verse seventeen, can someone just quickly read, please?
Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. Amen. And in Ephesians, I think Ephesians 6 verse 18 as well. Ephesians 6 verse 18. Yeah. It says, Praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. Amen. Amen. God himself that has created us, he said we should pray. My children, my sons, my daughters, pray without ceasing. He knows why he's asking us to pray without ceasing. Because he knows that the enemy is not happy. He's looking for whom to devour. He's looking for a way to steal our joy, to steal our blessing. We have to be spiritually alert. We shouldn't be asleep. Amen. Praying without ceasing, it doesn't mean that we should be on our knees from morning to night. We should be in constant communication with the Holy Spirit. We should be in line with the Holy Spirit while we are working, while we are driving. This message as I'm preaching, I'm preaching to myself. I think Amen. I need this message more than anyone. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So as we, are, as we are driving, we are walking, whatever thing we are doing, we are in tune with the Holy Spirit. Amen. That's why we said, we should, when we read Galatians, it says that we should live by the Spirit, not by the flesh. Mm -hmm. Because the Holy Spirit lives in a clean vessel. Mm -hmm. If we are in constant communication with the Holy Spirit, we will be able to overcome the temptations of the flesh. Amen? Amen. 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 The Bible also says in Joshua 1, I think verse 8, it says, This book of law shall not depart from our, wow. not from our eyes. Not from our bedside, not from where we've kept them. It should not depart from our mouth. Because when the enemy comes with his lies to talk to us, we know that we can use the word of God to defeat him. To defeat him. Amen. Reminding God of his word. Amen. 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 I remember when my children were young and I when we wanted to pray. And when the dad wants us to pray together, I always say to him, I said, let's do it SAP. I used to say short and powerful. <laughs> and it was something that was near, most of the time, like SAP, let's pray short and powerful. Mm. All the time, most of the time. Mm. And when I was caught and I went to detention with my children, mm. My prayer changed from SAP to LAP. Mm. I, started, <laughs> I started, I realized now the importance of prayers. Mm. It's not good for us to wait when something happens. Mm. Then we start casting and binding. Mm. The Bible says <laughs> obedience is better than sacrifice. Mm. And we should always keep praying. Mm. Ask God to give us the ability and power. and I think the enemy knows that when we pray something happens. Mm. He always try to bring things that will make us not to be in line with prayer because he knows that when we pray things happen. Mm. Prayer makes him powerless. He cannot do anything. Mm. If we look at James five verse sixteen, please. Amen. 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 And so can someone else open the Luke chapter 18 for, from verse 1 to 5 as well, please? Luke 18. Okay, Have you got Luke, Luke 18, 1 to 5, and James 5, verse 16. James. Okay, read James. Therefore confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. Amen. Amen. And the other version who says the effective and fervent prayer of the righteous are very much. Amen. Can someone just Look read that? It and he spoke a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. And there was a widow in that city, and she came unto him, saying, 
avenge me of my adversary. And he would not for a while, but afterward he said within himself, though I fear not God, nor regard man, yet because this widow troubled me, I will avenge her, lest by her continual coming she wearies me. And the Lord said, hear what the unjust judge says. Amen. 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 The Bible says in James that the effective and fervent prayer of the righteous are very much. And in Luke, Jesus has given us that parable of the widow and the judge. <coughs> she was persistent. Because she was persistent, the judge granted her wish. Amen. Yesterday, that man from uh, Halifax, and he said something when he prayed for Mama Sue. He said, in their church, what they normally do is, if, they, if he's praying for someone, he will keep praying to to that person until when that person receives their healing. The only time he will stop praying is only when he dies. It means that he will pray continuously yes. until he receives, he sees the answer to that prayer. And this is a, a clear example in the Bible which shows us that we should pray continuously. At times, we, 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 there are some certain things that we have prayed, and we pray about that thing once or twice, and because we have not seen the result, we stop praying for that particular thing. Mm. But what the Lord is reminding us this morning mm. is that we should keep praying. Amen. Amen. We should keep praying. Amen. We should keep pushing forward Amen. until we get the answer to that prayer. Yes. Yes. The, the, the meaning of push, P-U-S-H, is pray, until something happens. Amen. So we should keep pushing and keep praying yes. for the things that we need or the things that we are expecting God to do. Even uh, uh, Elijah, he prayed earnestly seven times. Amen. He kept sending the servant. The servant went, I'm like, Lord, there is nothing. I said to myself, I said, maybe by the third time I would have given up. I said, you know, maybe probably this one is not going to work. But mm. he was praying and he was expecting. Amen. It's that prayer that you don't pray because they have asked you to pray. Mm. But you pray and you are expecting. Mm. Expecting mm. that that situation will change. Amen. Praying and looking at that thing, that situation, mm. differently. Mm. Knowing that mm. if it's red, I want it yellow. You begin to see, even mm. though it's still red, but in your eyes you are expecting it Amen. to change. Amen. Elijah sent his servant. Seven times. It's at the seventh time when the servant came and said, Lord, I can see, I think he said, I can see the cloud changing. The seventh time. Yeah. Mm. He didn't relent. He prayed and prayed and prayed and he oh. kept asking the servant, go and check. Mm. Go and check. He knew the God he was serving. Mm. He knows that he is serving a powerful God. Mm. He knows that his God that he's serving is a faithful God. Mm. He knew that God would not let him down. Mm. He knows that the Bible says that God has told him that when you ask, I will give it to you. Yeah. And that's why he kept praying and kept asking because he knew that God will answer him. He knew that God will never fail. Mm -hmm. And that is the same thing that applies to us. I don't know the situation that we are. I don't know the particular thing you are expecting God to do. I don't know your, the area where you are seeking the face of the Lord. But all I want to encourage us this morning, we should know that God is all powerful. Mm -hmm. We should know that He will never, He says in His word that He will never leave us nor forsake us. Mm -hmm. Everything, in anything, without Him, we are nothing. Mm -hmm. In our in our studies, whatever thing we are doing, we should pray and believe that God can do it. Amen. For He never fails. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. If we look at, can someone read Isaiah 52, verse 1, please? <coughs> awake, awake, put on thy strength, O Zion. Put on thy beautiful garments, O Jerusalem, the holy city. For henceforth there shall no more come into thee the uncircumcised and the unclean. Awake, awake. Awake, awake, Apostolic Praise Center. Amen. Awake, awake, my daughter. Awake, awake, my son. Amen. Don't be spiritually asleep. Amen. Awake, awake, and pray. Amen. Prayer is a powerful weapon. When we pray, the Lord builds hedge around us. Yes. 
That's why Job said the, uh, uh, the, uh, the Satan said to God that you have built an edge mm. around him to protect him. Mm. That's what prayers does too. Amen. Prayer does. So we should, be, we should be awake mm. and be spiritually alert. Mm. We should pray. The Bible says in Acts, from, if we look at the story in Acts 19, verse 16, the seven sons of Sipha, mm -hmm. mm. they went about, they were trying to cast out demons. Mm. And what, does the, what did the demon say? <laughs> All I know. No I way. And who are, who are you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so it means that Satan recognizes the power of God in yes. us. Mm -hmm. He knows that when we pray, he can tell that you are filled with fire. We should be that pe that person, those Christians that when we wake up in the morning and when we put our feet, let the enemy start to say, she is awake again. Yeah. Mm. What is she up to up today? To what is he up to today? Yes. Mm. The Bible says, awake, awake. Mm. Even if the enemy has succeeded, has tried to plant any seed, any weed in our life, Today, as we pray, it's coming out in Jesus' name. Amen. Any way that the enemy has planted in our destiny is coming out in Jesus' name. Amen. Any way that the enemy has planted in this church is coming out today in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Anything that any way that the enemy has planted upon our family, upon our children, is coming out today in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Yesterday, I was so blessed mm. when the pastor um, preached about. The shout of praise. No. Shout. The, no, the, the shout of sh Shabbat. 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 Amen. Shabbat. Amen. 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 And I left here yes last night and I felt, you know, like you 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 I felt stronger. Yes. The picture that I have got, I see myself. Let me check out. Pastor, can I borrow you, please? Yes. Amen. I Amen. see myself. The picture that I see myself, I see my King of Glory, which is my God. Mm -hmm. We are standing on the ark because when I went to France, I saw that ark of triumph in mm -hmm. Paris. This is God, mm -hmm. the King of Glory, Amen. the Almighty Warrior, Amen. our Defender, yes. the Lion of the Tribe of Judah. Yes. This is Him. Yes. And this is me. Yes. This is us. Mm. Yes. We are by him. Yes. And we can see. Mm. He is showing us that that is the enemy down oh, there. Yes. Walking in shame. Oh, yes. Walking like this. Yes. 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 Because he has put the enemy under our feet. Yes. Yes. The enemy is yes. under his feet. Yes. He is under my feet as well. Yes. Yes. I am in God. Yes. Because we are in God. Yes. If he has put the enemy under his feet, yes. it means that the enemy is under our feet. Amen. I underline that, I highlight that it's like. It's like. Yeah. Hallelujah. But Jesus is <laughs> the lion of the tribe of Judah. Jesus is the lion of the tribe of Judah. The song we sang this morning, it says, Thank you, Jesus. They tremble at its voice. Yes. Yeah. This morning, let the lion of the tribe of Judah mm. begin to roar over that situation. Yes. yes. Let him begin to roar over that thing that you have been praying. Amen. When the lion comes, everything moves. Yes. The enemy has been trying. Amen. He has been trying to defeat us. He has been acting Amen. as if he is the lion. Yes. But he is not the lion. He is under our feet. Amen. I said he is under our feet. Amen. That sickness mm. is under our feet. Amen. That problem is under our feet. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah.
listen, listen. The Bible says, 10,000 will fall upon our left, 10,000 will fall upon our right, but none shall touch us. I said, 10,000 weeks will fall upon our left, 10,000 weeks will fall upon our right, but none shall touch us in Jesus' name. 10,000 sickness shall fall upon our left, 10,000 sickness shall fall upon our right, but none shall touch us in Jesus' name. The Bible says, as the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his people. Amen. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surround his people. Yes, he does. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, glory, 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 glory. Oh, yes, Lord. Yes, Father God. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds your vision. Oh, yes. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds your children. Oh, yes. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds our hell. As the mountains surround Jerusalem, so the Lord surrounds our gifts. Amen. For the Lord is with us. Amen. He is the lion of the tribe of oh, yes. Judah. Hallelujah. He is our Defender, yes. like what the pastor says yesterday, that the Lord is our defender. Amen. We have won the battle already. Amen. The enemy tries to, he comes in and tries to make us like there is something to fight, yeah. but we are on the winning side. Amen. For the Lord has done it. Amen. I just want us to stand at this moment and give and shout a voice of victory. And begin to pray. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.
Merci pour la révélation. Merci pour la révélation, papa. Merci pour la révélation. Merci pour la révélation. Merci pour la révélation. Oh, non, non, non. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can we just continue praying, please? Look at our feet praying. We're going to pray. scripture that uh, my sister quoted as well because it was quoted even yesterday as well James 5 16 it says confess your faults one to another and pray for one another that you may be healed amen amen, amen. that you may be healed Hallelujah. now listen to this I like the King James version because it will show you <coughs> Power of the word. It says here, the effectual. Do you understand that word? The effectual. Effectual is a subject, but it's coming from the word. The effect. The effect. The effectual. The effect. The effectual prayer. Not just a prayer, like my sister was saying. I like it because. You know, if we are to just say, because we are going to pray, and they are like the sensitivity in your spirit, that this word that you brought today, it was all about you. And God is talking something. That from today, you look at yourself. If you get home, go to the mirror and say, you know what? Old regime, you have died. Amen. Amen. He arises, Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. He is walking Amen. and proclaiming. Amen. Hallelujah. It says here, it says, effectual, fervent. Two very, very big and serious words. Mm -hmm. Effectual, fervent. Ephesians, Paul will say, will use perseverant. 
fervent and perseverance are cousins. Mm -hmm. These words, they are standing, you know, mm -hmm. side by side. Mm -hmm. Fervent. Like what you just quoted, my sister, that uh, David said, you know, you've got to keep on praying. Mm -hmm. It's the effectual, fervent prayer. Not a prayer that says, you know, I remember I was, you know, one day, you know, somebody was talking about, you know, this man. This man was very busy, but he was always cursing God and saying, you know what, God, I want something from you, and I'll always, I'm walking with you, I'm going with you. And he decided, you know what, I work so, I work too much, sometimes I get tired. He wrote the prayer. He wrote the prayer, wrote the prayer, and he, stick, and he turned it on the wall. So when he's tired, he's coming from work, he says, I will not sleep without praying. So he would just come, he's tired, he wants to go to bed, and you say, God, <laughs> he says, there is the prayer, I've prayed, because he wrote it down, he says, God, and then he goes to bed, but what does this say, the effective, fervent prayer, hallelujah, Amen. of a righteous person, yes. will heal the sick, you know, this word has got everything, charisma, sometimes, most of the times, what we've been taught today, our prayers don't work because of the charisma. Charisma leads to righteousness, your character. Amen. Amen. You see the character of Elijah, what that, that she quoted. Elijah had a character that, you know what, I'm not going to give up. Right. I'm not going to give up. Amen. Because why am I, am I not giving up? Because God is not a man that he should lie. Amen. He said, if I do this, this will happen. Amen. So why would I think, I think it is it's not happening? So today, before, you know, because she said to pray. Yes, we are going to pray. I just want us to pray. There's something that the Holy Spirit uh, brought in my mind. It came as a vision as we were worshiping this morning. You know, I was taken to Ezekiel 37 about the, the value of the dry bones. And, uh, you know, something, sometimes the value of the dry bones, you've got to look at it this way because this is the picture that the Lord showed me. We remember what happened at the value of the dry bones. It says, Ezekiel spoke. And they started coming together. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. yes. They started coming together. That's right. Hey, hey, to do what? So the picture that I was given was, uh, you know, do you all know what a jigsaw puzzle is? Mm -hmm. Have you ever seen a jigsaw puzzle? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Fortunate enough, these days you can play it electronically. Do you know that? Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Mm -hmm. So a jigsaw puzzle, what happens? This is the vision that I saw. A jigsaw puzzle. That's exactly the, you know, the value of the dry bones. He says they came together. If you read it from today, go and read it. He says, each one went to its what? To its rightful place. A jigsaw puzzle, unless and until you put that piece in the right place, you cannot finish it. Right. It will still be unfinished. So when you play them electronically, they time you. You can go for about a thousand hours. It will not give up and say you have, you have done it. No, unless you put that. So our prayers today, I felt that we have got to pray and understand and say, you know what, God? Because this is what Paul says. He says, we are a body. That's the value of the dry bone. We are a body. Do you know that some of the things are not going because you are not yet fitted into your right place? You are a, a piece, a jigsaw puzzle piece that you are going to fit into something. So if we can just take five minutes to pray yes, that prayer, Amen. Th that prayer to understand, to say, you know what, God, I want to understand. I want to know where I fit. I am the body. I don't deny that. So that because when you pray that, when you start to understand that, you won't even need anybody to tell you that you need to, you know, to do this, you need to do that. No, no, no. You know your duty. Like what you do in your everyday jobs. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. In your everyday jobs, you know your duties, isn't it? Because there is wages at the end of the week and salaries at the end of the month. But the wages here are even more than that. I can't even double it. I can't even triple it. I can't even trillion it. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Hallelujah. Father God, in the name of Jesus, Father, we thank you, O oh God, for we are, O oh God, we are your workmanship, O oh God, created holy and Father God and fearful. In the name of Jesus, Father God, we praise you because we are fearful and wonderful and men. Father God, I stand in that position where Ezekiel was standing. I say, your oh, tribe, come together, come together. 
immediately join them according to your glory, according to your blessing, according to your rightful blessings. We thank you, God, for this wonderful time that, Father God, you are calling us aside into that marvelous time, into that joyous time, into that time of God where you seek, oh God, the worshippers that will worship you in spirit and in truth, oh God. Father God, the truth which is your word that will tell us, that will identify us with you, oh God. Father, I am so God, so honored, oh God, to be called by your name. I thank you, oh God, for all these saints. But Father God, we are all called by your name. There is never a Jew, there is never a Greek, but we are all according. Call your children, for you are our Father. Father, God, I thank you for being our Father. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And uh, finally, can we all uh, pray for Sister Regine? We will point our hands towards her. Amen. Not for anything, but because God revealed himself to her. Yes. Because this word is James 5, 16. She's read it. She didn't even know that God was speaking. He says, confess. She has confessed before God what her weaknesses are. Hallelujah. And then we have, you know, she has confessed because as soon as she said that, I saw something lifting up, especially the spirit of fear. I saw something blowing off. So now we want to pray according whatever you want to pronounce on her Amen. in the name of Jesus because one thing that we want her to understand is do you know something sister regime the enemy came to steal your heart to kill and to destroy because what is in you you have not even seen it you have not even perceived it because he keeps stealing it that you cannot see it yourself but today God wanted you wants you to understand that's what we'll be praying for. Okay. Once you to understand that with this image, like what you demonstrated there, that you are walking hand in hand with him. Amen. Amen. So there is nothing. You are not called. You know, God, you know, Jesus Christ to you. He is not your uncle. He is not your, your, your grandfather. But he is your father. Amen. And he is my father. Amen. And he is your father. Amen. And he is your father. Amen. So there is no even a greater somebody who is greater than the other one. No, no, no. Because when somebody is, you know, like your uncle, say, ah, oh, no, my children first, isn't it? But he is our father. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So let's pray for Sister Rajiv. Thank you, Jesus. Father, I thank you, O oh Lord, for the spirit of God, the spirit of might, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of wisdom, understanding, knowledge that Father God you are granting. Right now, I cast away all fear. In the name of Jesus, that your God has followed me. Father God, right now I cut her off and I make her God understanding. Let understanding abound in her. In the name of Jesus. Oh, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Right, the righteousness of Christ right now from here and know the blessings that we are good from in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord. Thank, Thank, you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, Hallelujah. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. 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 So I'm going to do the, the announcements now. Amen. Amen. Uh,